Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So at the end of The Power of the Doctor, David Tennant was revealed to be the 14th Doctor. But just how and why is this the case? Well that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now the real life explanation seems pretty obvious, he's been brought back to lead the 60th anniversary specials so that Shooty Gatwa is free to take the reins from series 14 onwards, without any big anniversary celebrations getting in the way of his Doctor's introduction. After all, it would be kind of throwing him into the deep end if they were to start his era off with the 60th. But what about the in-universe explanation? Well, I think it has something to do with the Celestial Toymaker, who I'm guessing Neil Patrick Harris is playing. I think the Toymaker has interfered with the Doctor's regeneration somehow, as part of some greater plan to get his revenge on the Doctor. Maybe by making the 14th Doctor look like the 10th, he hopes to bring back Donna's memories, resulting in her death, perhaps? Or perhaps it's because of what the Master did in The Power of the Doctor, maybe when he forced the 13th Doctor to regenerate into him, he upsets the natural balance or order of the actual regenerative process, causing 13 to regenerate into a familiar face. I doubt this is the reason, as I'm sure Rusty Davis will want to do his own thing rather than rely on something that connects back to Chris Chibnall's era, but it would make some kind of sense if it was the reason. Or maybe it's simply that since 10 didn't want to go and neither did 13, maybe they were able to connect somehow in the Doctor's subconscious and that allowed 10 to come back as 14. Or maybe it's just that the 10th Doctor has unfinished business and so 13 has regenerated back into him. Although now that I think about it, both of these last two explanations could potentially be links together. Perhaps 10 is getting another go as 14 so that he can properly resolve things with Donna. I know that was a lot and I mean a lot of potential explanations there, but I just couldn't help myself. My mind's racing trying to think of what possible in-universe explanation there is behind all this. And I'm sure I'm not the only one, it's all very exciting. I understand that some fans, particularly fans of the 13th Doctor, are not that keen on it as they may believe that it will overshadow Jodie's exit or Shooty's introduction, but hopefully Russell will come up with a really good explanation that will satisfy most fans. But that's not all we're going to talk about, it's also been reported that the show is set to receive a much bigger budget thanks to the Disney Plus deal. Both TV Zone and broadcast reports that the show's budget will apparently triple, going from £1 to £3 million per episode to £10 million per episode. A source told broadcast that it's an incredibly exciting time for the franchise, with Rusty Davis expected to expand the universe with spin-off series, similar to Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures. A source told the publication the BBC had to make the decision for the future success of Doc 2 because any show of scale needs a partner. Reliability is the most important factor irrespective of how many episodes you make or who the Doctor is. TV Zone also then said in a tweet underneath the link to their article on Twitter, if any fans worried about the Disney Plus deal, the BBC and Disney Plus have highlighted that Doc 2 will remain a quintessentially British show, and the deal is about delivering for future generations on an unprecedented scale. Disney Plus are not producing a series. This all sounds really exciting and exactly the right kind of direction I personally feel the show needs to go in. I'm especially happy to hear about the possibility of more spin-offs as I feel like that's something that there's still so much potential for. Anyway, I'm really happy to see David Tennant back as a Doctor and I can't wait to see him and Catherine Tate's Donna back in action for the 60th anniversary specials. But what do you think? What in-universe reason can you think for why David Tennant is the 14th Doctor? And how do you feel about his return? Are you really excited or more on the fence about it? And what do you think about the show reportedly getting a bigger budget and maybe even more spin-offs? Please let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, so thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below as well as press the bell icon at the side of it so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. This channel currently has 663 subscribers as of the time of writing and recording this video. But once we get 750, then I'll rank every single season, from William Hartnell to Jodie Whittaker. Also, please rate and comment below your thoughts on all of this. So, until next time, bye bye